And after all, if you do really like what you're doing, it doesn't matter what it is. You can eventually turn it, uh, you can eventually become a master of it. It's the only way to become a master of something. You really will it. Okay, so Rochelle, uh, we're gonna make some. Uh, I've been calling it wrong all day. I've been calling it palella. Palella. Yeah, palella. <laughs> palella. 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 Um, it's fantastic. It's from a place called Span. Oh, Span. Spawn. Spawn. It's it's Spawn. From Spawn. Palella. Have you a palella? From Span. Paella. Paella. Yeah. Spanish paella. Yeah. So I've been. Uh, yeah. I've been educated now. I know what paella is. Well, we're gonna is. make it today. Yay. <laughs> okay. So we have a, a palella pan. We have the paella pan. <laughs> And we're gonna make, yeah, some paella. So my grandmother has a recipe here. It's paella a la venciana. Um, I feel I honored think... that you're, it's your grandmother's recipe you're gonna be making well, today. You know, Barbara um, is quite the cook. So I learned all my great skills from her. Nice. And uh, yeah. All right, so <laughs> we're back. What are we, uh, chicken stock? We stockers? are putting in our chicken stock. So we have two and a half cups of chicken stock. Okay, we're back. So. Um, I actually have some white wine, dry white wine. I think this always tastes better when you have a little bit of white wine instead yes. of the, for half a cup instead mm. of the other cup for chicken stock. So we're gonna throw that in. And then we have the magic ingredient. It's called saffron. Smell it. Smell it. Smell a vision. Smell a vision. <laughs> okay. So you There's, only need a pinch of this. Is it very potent? It's very potent and see how it's like this color? It's going to now turn a Another nice color. pink color, but you only need a little bit because a little bit goes a long way. I've never actually cooked with saffron before. This is going to be fun. First time. What? I've eaten it for sure, but I've never what? actually used it. Well, the palala is going to look good. <laughs> palalas. <laughs> so we're going to let this boil. All right, so we have our paella pan with our avocado oil, 100% pure um, from Chosen Food, some of my favorites. And now we're going to put in our chopped in onion and carrots. One full onion and two medium-sized carrots. Very nice. Yeah, I use the same olive oil. I like this one a lot. Yeah, it's really, really good. It tastes amazing. Uh, I use it raw and I use it um, mm. to cook with. That's so beautiful right there. Mm-hmm. And next we're going to add in some garlic because garlic makes everything taste better. Oh, only this much? <laughs> only this much. Only. Okay, <laughs> I know because it's you, we're going to get one more. Because I know your I know your ways, and you are a garlic addict like me. Oh yeah, we can put I the mean, whole thing in there. We don't have a hot date later because no, no, she's know. gonna smell like garlic too. Don't worry. <laughs> now we have garlic in here, and I tell you, it smells so good right now. So good. So I just, good. I just want to jump in here and rub it all over my body. <laughs> That'd smell incredible. <laughs> I wonder. I wish that there's maybe like a garlic museum. I think you should. Oh, check out. definitely. I just like it raw, though. It's they always process it in the different things. That's what she said. <laughs> All Hello, right. friends. How are you? Hello, friends. I have some Spanish chorizo mm. here. Mucho grande. Um, That's gonna be I gotta, so good. Gotta work on my Spanish, but uh, I, I, yeah. I can't even say paella. Properly. It's the <laughs> caliente. Okay. So what do we got? So we have chorizo, and I'm going to chop this. Oh, Stop up. smells so good. Chop, chop time. And Rochelle is making it rain. Ooh. Making it rain chorizo. Oh, that's so good. Can I eat it right now? No. Not. How much trouble would I get in? <laughs> it's already fully cooked, so you could technically eat it, but it needs to be heated up and warm. If you disappeared, I would like eat half of this and you'd come back and be like, what happened? I'm going to say the cat got it or something. I don't know. Make some excuses. <laughs> All right, All so right. now we're... Uh, all right, so we have our paella rice. By the way, this is a real thing. It's not any other type of rice, but it's really cool. Is it a special kind of rice? It's special. It's paella rice. It's like little tiny little flax. So it's not arborio. Arborio, if you cook it with arborio rice, it'll actually make your paella too soft and mushy. So you don't want this. this no one likes a soft paella. More dense. Like paellas tend to have a little bit more of a crispy rice texture to them mm -hmm. um, with the meat because you don't want it to be overcooked. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I have a cup and a half here. I measured at St. Okay. Lawrence Market, my favorite place to go, by the way, which most of all of this is from. So we're just gonna throw this bad boy in. And then I suppose that's what this is for. You pop that in yeah, there. Yes, so we ah. gotta get this all coated nicely with the oil. Well, that's gonna be so good. So, and see how the oil from the bottom is picking up? That's all how my vegetables. mom taught me how to make regular rice, is you fry it with yeah. different things to get flavors, and then you add the water. Definitely 
more flavors this way, right? Because uh. you're, you're uh, getting a little crispy. crispy. <laughs> Very nice. I like it. Vibrant it is. It is? You know what that so looks like to vibrant. me? That looks like melted butter. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so good. It's definitely not butter, but we're going to nope. put in a little bit at a time. We're going to reduce the heat. Now, is this a precision thing, or you just put in whatever you feel like? Yeah, yeah. I think it's like usually like a little more, like a cup at a time, and then you kind of let it simmer down and cook. Okay. But you make sure like it's on a, like a lower heat, so it takes time to cook it. So this mm. paella does take a little bit longer. A little bit of time? Do. Yeah, I mean, like all good things in life sometimes you just gotta, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta take it slow in, right take it slow take it slow take it slow <laughs> and also put in hard work that's exactly the life. so that like, if you add too much and then you try and like boil off the water the rice will become too soft right yeah, so you got to get the right amount okay absolutely. okay absolutely cool beans i think i this has been boiling too long so i'm just adding some more rice it smells delicious guys now we have tomatoes the tomatoes. It's looking really good. Look at this soggy bag of deliciousness! Oh my god! Uh, oh. It's the secret. It's the secret! So this is like, what, Portuguese chicken? Portuguese, so Churrasco's Chicken, my favorite little chicken place mm. in distillery, or not distillery, St. Lawrence Market. Um, you get them to do a whole chicken and cut it into eighths. I'm totally gonna lick that bag clean okay. after you pulled out oh, all the chicken yeah, because so. it smells so good. And then I assume the chicken just goes in here? Yeah. Mm. So we're gonna put that on top. So we'll get rid of that. And then... Mm. Alright, so the secret ingredient of this meal is... The wine? No, it's not the wine, oh. Vasco. It's the chicken. Oh, how did I... So I kind of cheated. I hope that you guys don't mind. But I normally do a roast chicken, but I like... Who has time for that? So there's a place in St. Lawrence Market that does the best churrasco's chicken. By this way, this hot sauce is like liquid gold. Mm. Okay? It's only for me. You can't have any. No, just I'm out of here then. So we're going to put it on top afterwards. I thought we were friends. <laughs> Pace! Okay. Do you know what I love best? I love paella. Ooh. Ooh, it's exciting! <laughs> <laughs> so we are, uh, we're working on it. I think it's almost done, right? Yeah, it is almost done. I mean, this dish is so easy to make, and there's tons of leftovers, which is always really good for lunch tomorrow. Because, mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I actually love leftovers. I'd I, much I love rather leftovers eat my own. Yeah. home cooked food than anything else mm -hmm. like whenever my mom cooks i'm like leftovers yeah leftovers i prefer good. leftovers yeah i like it, it, yeah. it they say it ferments and like all the like flavors the like, flavors actually do come about like a couple days later like mm. my caesar salad dressing remember the one mm -hmm. we yeah, made yeah, yeah yeah probably like the second or third day it's the best even better yeah, yeah way better that had a lot of garlic in it well, we had we mm. did a whole head of garlic I, I, for you i showed and we up we roasted it though we did yeah. i usually don't do roasted normally i do raw yeah so. i showed up to rochelle's house and she was uh roasting garlic her whole apartment smelled like garlic it was really good. <laughs> she had to kick me out. I wouldn't want. I didn't leave. I was like, <laughs> like, get out of here. It was good. It was good. <laughs> so what's happening here? So now we are taking all this magical chicken that we got cut into eights, and we're just stuffing it into our paella. It's going to taste very, very good. Oh my god! I'm so excited to try this, guys. <laughs> Rochelle's this is grandmother's we... paella. <laughs> I hope you guys recipe. like it. I mean, this is so easy to make. Well, I don't know if you guys are going to like it, but I know I'm going to like it. <laughs> it's going to be very good. And the magic touch is some flat leaf parsley. Mm. This is always just a nice fresh element to put on top of your paella. Oh, yeah. For all off is our nice, beautiful lemon wedges. So what does the lemon do? The lemon is just gives it a really nice... Um, flavor on top. You kind of like you take this when you scoop it up, you have some lemon, you squirt it on top of the rice, it gives it just like a nice fresh element to it mm -hmm. with the parsley. And also it's really good for display because now this looks like more of a presentation. Yeah, it doesn't look like a pile of stuff. No, yeah. So I don't even know where I can put all of them, but I'm trying to get the best lighting <laughs> and all I have is me and this monkey. She's so got a little monkey lamp. We're going to make it work. What's your monkey's name? Chimpo? Monkey man. <laughs> monkey man. The stuff you. Let's check on my nephew. My nephew's name is Monkey. Man. Oh, okay, we can't do that. That. Yeah. <laughs> but like, this is the. This so we are we are done, guys. Does that look good or what? 
Rochelle is. Oh, Rochelle yeah, is... hot sauce still to put on top. Oh, I thought you weren't sharing with that. That with me. Well, you're okay. Yeah, you're, okay. You're, kind of, you're okay. I'm one of the crew now. You're part of the crew. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna eat that part, 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 that part. Pretty much all of it. Okay, we are done. We are gonna try this now. Yes, so good, so good. So I have some nice pieces of breast and thigh. <laughs> All right, there we go. We're gonna try it. Give it a shot. You try your palella. I mean, hopefully it won't poison you. If not, goodbye, Vasco. It's been nice. It's been fun. <laughs> oh, that is good. Mm. It's creamy and crunchy. How did mm -hmm. you do that? It's Spanish. It's, it's Spanish people. That's how they know how to do. It. Mm, that's really good, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, follow Vivacious Gourmet on her uh, Instagram. On my Instagram, and I'll have this recipe on there soon enough. Oh, with really? the full, yeah, I will. I'm gonna post it, and then I'll put you like a full list of everything that I put in this um, recipe for you guys. So hopefully you like it. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make this again when I get home. Now that I know how to make, uh, what's it called? Paella. 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 I just gotta remember how it's pronounced. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you.